friends, I had an idea for an epic new podcast. The story of a kid who got separated from his parents and must survive in the jungle alone. So with the help of many friends, we made it. Dad, it's me. I'm trapped down here in the Lost World. He said Lost World? I found out this hole and, and slid down this big, long tunnel. Right near where we camp, there's a hole in the ground. But what happened next is one of the biggest reasons I got my nickname. Miles the Brave. And I learned that you should never give up just because things look hopeless. Even when you're not sure what to do, you just never know what might happen if you keep trying. Miles the Brave is our exciting new original podcast made by Story Button. The entire season is available everywhere August 21st. So right now, make sure that you search for the podcast Miles the Brave and click follow. You are not going to believe what happens on this adventure. Critter Protectors, Mr. Jim here, and welcome to Kids Animal Stories, a place where there's always a mystery and adventure around every single corner. If you love critters of all shapes and sizes, I need you on our Critter Protector team. Join our adventure as we learn about critters from around the world and in our backyards. Well, my friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too! Let's go! Pip the dung beetle had spent most of his life very lonely. No matter how hard he tried, he just couldn't seem to find any insect friends who seemed to want to spend any time with him. Have you ever heard of a dung beetle? Do you know what they do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're pretty big bugs with round black bodies, six black legs, and a pretty funny looking head. And the wildest thing about them is... Well, <laughs> they love poop. Yeah! Some of them are rollers and like to roll balls of poop. Oh, and some are dwellers and live inside the poop and... Oh, some are tunnelers making holes in and under poop. They're just... Oh, dear. <laughs> Can you imagine being friends with a dung beetle? Or what if you were a dung beetle? Do you think that you may take baths? I have so many questions. I wish I was friends with a dung beetle. Well, day in and day out, Pip, our dung beetle friend, tried to make some other friends... Hi there, Mr. and Mrs. Would you like to share this dung with me for dinner tonight? Oh, uh, hi, Pip. Uh, sorry, we're, we're busy tonight. They'd always say. Pip didn't quite realize that they didn't actually eat dung like him, but they didn't seem to want to be anywhere near him anyways. One day, Pip tried to make a really fun tunnel for the younger insects in his neighborhood to play in. Everybody, come on and try out my new dung playground. It's fun. Ew! Shouted all the kids as they ran away. At the end of the long week of trying, Pip decided to do one more thing to see if anyone even cared at all. <sighs> He woke up early and searched for the biggest, most perfect round piece of poop and pushed it towards the town. You know, maybe if he could show off his strength, maybe, just maybe, he'd finally make a name for himself. Just a little bit further. Pip huffed and puffed and pushed the biggest ball of dung he'd ever seen. Wow, did you know dung beetles are known for their amazing ability to move things up to 50 times their size? That would be like a grown-up trying to move a truck that's loaded with elephants. Wow, that would be a big ball of poop. As Pip approached town, he gave one more big push. 
and the insects in town did absolutely nothing. Nobody gave him any attention. They ignored him and tried to move on with their day like he wasn't even there. Have you ever felt like you were being ignored or that nobody noticed you? Oh, it is not a good feeling. And this is exactly how Pip felt. Pip was sad and went back to his own little home all by himself. He thought for a while and shed a few tears even. Then he decided it was best to just move away, to find a new place. He decided to venture to a neighborhood near the Mediterranean seaside. You know, maybe I'll find some friends like me, or at least someone who wants to be my friend, Pip thought. The very next day, he set off. His strong black body had easily made its way on what was considered a long journey for an insect. He walked through some field grass, over a large pile of rocks, through some logs, and under a barbed wire fence. After a bit longer, he came to a clearing and looked down into a beautiful valley. Whoa, he said as he looked in awe. The valley went down to a ship harbor and a bay leading to the sea. There were houses, farms, and the feeling of adventure. Oh, I guess it's now or never, Pip thought, and he headed down the valley towards the farm closest to him. Pip could feel the breeze, and it's just a little bit different. It was crisp and salty. He smiled and thought of all the other critters he might meet. It was the first time in a long time that he felt so happy and had so much optimism. Do you know what optimism is? It's a big word, but it's when you feel like you have hope and confidence about the things ahead. Maybe you've had a bad day, but something turns it around and you feel optimistic. This is how Pip was feeling now, and that was a great feeling. As the day came to a close, Pip was getting really tired from his journey. He needed a nice place to rest after so much traveling. Pip <sighs> and looked around for somewhere to settle in for a big sleep. He very quickly found a lot of manure and some tall grass. Do you know what manure is? Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, that's more poop. He dug himself a little stinky home and fell fast asleep. Little did he know, he was in <laughs> for quite the surprise the next day. What kind of surprise do you think is waiting for Pip? Will he find friends after all? I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see what happens on the next very stinky episode of Kids Animal Stories. We'll be right back after a brief word from our sponsor. Hey, friends, I need your help celebrating a birthday. Drum roll, please. Happy birthday, Mela, who's turning five years old. Mela loves mountain biking has a dog named Rosie, and a brother named Kai. Wow, Mela, I'm so glad we got to celebrate you and your big day on the show. Happy fifth birthday. Well, my Critter Protectors, I hope you all have a super duper day, and I will see you on our next adventure. Bye! Bye! 